This is the man at the age of burning his fingers in a brewing administrative feud involving two top echelons of the force, the director of the Criminal Intelligence Investigation Department, Grace Akulo, and the Inspector General of Police, General Kale Kaihura. His daring role in the brewing intelligence clash include spin doctoring, but in whose interest is a matter that insiders within the force and independent observers think is likely to step on a live wire. The other assignment is to intimidate the media houses that are closely following the brewing intelligence mass nations within the force. This as reports seem to point to a fact that the head of state gradually is losing trust in one of the parties involved in the fight. Speaking in an interview as part of his assignment in the brewing intelligence feud arising from a creation of a parallel intelligence unit, the Special Operations Unit reporting only to the IGP to outsmart the CID that is alleged to have been not flashing the IGP with first-hand information, but to the President direct. Enanga again made a downplay accusing the media. Ever since the fight between the two Eklons of the force went viral, Akulo is reported to have been blocked from speaking to the media and indeed she has gone into silence. But when we put this to Enanga, why this to Akulo and the intrigue involved, again answering at pain, he downplayed the observation. There is a way that uh, uh, the media uh, over speculated on uh, the stories that were being actually run and uh, to a stage of uh, actually uh, uh, to a stage that uh, uh, some of the words uh, in the alleged press conference issued by the director CID that appeared not have to, to been uh, stated by her like the saying goes, you can't lie to the people, but you will never lie all the time. The subversion came to the limelight over the creation of a parallel body in charge of operations by the IGP, despite the existence of the CIID that deals with investigations and the line of duty. Uh, the IGP is the overall command and control of the police. And uh, uh, he, he delegates uh, his... He, he assigns and delegates responsibilities to all the 19 directors, including the director CID. And at, at any stage, you will always have uh, uh, briefings uh, on whatever activities are taking place. Those at the front of complicating the life of the CID boss, Grace Akula, cracked the whip harder for her over the weekend. Following a report of her off-camera verbatim, here last week, entitled Administrative Battle. And Anger now says that investigations against her over attributed media statements to her are on course. However, with too much pressure on her, yet to be confirmed reports indicate that she was pushed over the weekend in a watertight meeting to deny the statements. No, there was not any directive. The issue was that uh, the earlier, the the contents in that story uh, needed to be investigated. Uh, whether the officers uh, are truly alleged to have been bribed at one stage, and also uh, some of the remarks which the director says were not attributed to her also needed to be uh, investigated. So it went to the professional standards unit. And the director CID was able to uh, uh, make uh, uh, a written uh, formal explanation to the Inspector General of Police on the manner in which uh, she delivered that uh, 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 alleged press uh, uh, statement. The motive remains unclear, but her life in office has extremely been complicated on account of insubordination. The matter of the CID boss has, however, been preferred to the Police Standards Unit for further handling.